Hello, my friends. My name is Jana, and I am a forex trader. I consider myself part-time forex trader with um, slightly over 15 years experience. And um, lately, I have been trading only gold, the US American dollar, and I'm sharing my trades, my pending orders with uh, my viewers and subscribers. So in this video, I'm going to explain how to understand my orders and um, anyone can follow if you would like to so this is going to be a helpful video um, i'm trading gold with the ea um, well i consider myself a part-time trader but lately i have been trading more often than i used to and uh, still placing my orders uh, with the ea jfx line trader uh, which helps me to manage the uh, uh, trades because most of the time I use um, buy stop sell stop pending orders and uh, I have settings already built in uh, in the EA for uh, take profit uh, trailing stop stop losses and also I use a recovery system uh, which means if I will have a losing trade, uh, the recovery uh, will be trying to recover that losing trade. And uh, the system using recovery is um, averaging with Martingale. Okay, so that's fully automatically. Uh, the only manually uh, what I do is I'm looking for the entry points. Okay, so with uh, this EA, it will not trade with any indicators or anything else it can be used a fully automated if uh, you can set it up with the time but uh, the way i trade it i trade it manually so i look for the entry points i place my orders and the rest is all done by the ea so that's how i use it i use it as a semi uh, auto trading so now i'm going to explain once again if you're not familiar um, this is um, my uh, uh, chart with gold and uh, this is my uh, ea uh, on the screen as you can see uh, it has level lines and if i press it also has trend lines and that's what i use i use lines uh, to place the orders okay so my system if you are unfamiliar is pretty much a breakout system i look for consolidations i look for different patterns i use trend lines support resistance and then i place the orders and i send them to telegram channel okay so that's one way of doing it also i trade buy or sell which is on the EA I have button for buy and for sell which means constant buy or constant sell so it's pretty much exactly as you have uh, in the terminal anyway sell and buy except with my EA I already have all the settings in there uh, for again take profit stop loss recovery system so I don't have to do it manually so that's the difference between manual trading and semi-automatic with my EA okay so um, that's pretty much that's what I do with my EA so now I'm gonna explain to you so you can see guys if you have the screen uh, looking if you do have an EA uh, you will have the same uh, these are the notes of um, everything you need um, lot size take profit stop loss recovery uh, recovery stop loss attempts markets offset confirmation points tracking and it shows right now there are no active trades so basically let's have a look at an example um, what exactly happens when i am placing my orders so let's take this uh, friday to trade right so for example we have this area that's what I would usually look for. For me, this looks uh, like a, a good consolidation. So I am placing the order by stop. As you can see, that's the green level, which I can move. 
and that's uh, horizontal so you see I'm placing it um, this way roughly let's say at this moment I'm going to show you this way and then I'm showing you actually the uh, orders I sent uh, to telegram channel as an example so now I'm going to have another horizontal level which is a sell stop and for example I'm going to place it here so let's say that's my channel and that's why I'm waiting for breakout right so I want it to go either up or go down so for me pretty much with my strategy doesn't matter which way it will go what I need is for it to break out and go uh, enough for me to take profit but again depends on how big or small my take profit will be so right now on the screen I had a few questions previously what means disable until it gives you few seconds when you place the orders so you can move around and not active because when I trade active hours I can make a mistake if I place the order for example if I'll place the level while I'm placing it before it could have trigger right and so so it wouldn't trigger that's why we have the timer you see it's disappeared in 60 seconds so now they are active orders okay so that's what they mean now we are active and now the question is from these levels so what it could be uh, buy or sell could be straight from those levels but I use a distance okay usually what I do I'm uh, counting few pips up which is usually with gold right now I'm used 244 points which is 24 pips uh, and from one level and from another level I'm going to say 244 right now it's uh, different settings in the EA it's uh, uh, so 244 right so you will see it here at this moment it shows 200 but usually I place 244 at this moment if you have different brokers you might have a wider lower spreads so that's why you need to see why I'm placing um, those uh, points from my levels is that I'm trying to avoid some breakouts like let's say false breakouts it's the pins for example if I would place uh, my order maybe here somewhere right and I have this little pin so to avoid those pins um, I'm placing it not exactly um, at the point where I want to break out but slightly above so that means when the market started to move uh, above it so it's going to take me I'm going to return back here so it's going to take me into the trade higher slightly higher okay so that's a bit a difference um, when you look at those levels it's not the levels itself but the orders itself above and below always okay for me it's always when I'm using those painting orders so now I want to show you uh, level lines change into trend lines and then we will see that it will be something like this so now I can change the position it's not only horizontal but it's also could be uh, under any corner you see it could be um, any degree it could be even vertical but it's a degree and again it's trying to give you a few seconds and uh, the same I can do a sell stop so I can do them horizontally if I want or I can do them uh, under some degree and with this unfortunately when I send signals uh, with orders like this uh, in here it will be showing uh, from what pr price right what price it will be again but it will be continuing to looking and now it will be going even high so there is no exact price where you have those 200 points above and below so it will be going higher and higher and higher and higher and higher all the time so not like with the horizontal lines when we have horizontal lines you have uh, constant the same the same area the same 200 above right anywhere while the market moves inside it can break at any point it would be um, at the same price so for example if we will go 
from here, like let's say 1838. So it will be anywhere here at that exactly price. That's where we'll be buy stop really. Okay. But when I am placing orders this way, that means that the first it starts to count 20, well, rather 20 pips at this moment from wherever here, for example. And then every time it will be going higher and higher and higher and higher because of this level going higher and higher. And the same would be here lower. Then it would be changing a little bit higher, a little bit higher, a little bit higher, a little bit higher. So that's how these are different with the trend lines and level lines. I'm trying to send my um, signals usually with just level lines because it's easier to read them, okay, to understand. But that's why I'm saying you can also have the EA and just um, copy exactly the same areas where I place my levels, then it would be much easier. But of course, if you want to do it manually, you can do it manually. So I'm giving you just uh, at this moment the uh, simple explanation because all of these other buttons and uh, how to do the settings, setups, you can see uh, I have a video already how to use the EA. So at this moment I'm explaining how to understand and read my signals. So I just explained to you a little bit of my strategy and how I place the orders. Now, when you go uh, to uh, the uh, Telegram channel, which is John FX, and um, you can find the link in the description if you would like. So that's how the um, signals looks like. You have a screenshot where my levels are, and then you have a description of the settings I have, which is what the lot size I have, take profit, stop loss. It explains to you aiming close half positions at so many points, stop loss, moving break even at what positions, uh, at uh, what little, uh, little distance, for example, like here, 88 points. That means that it will be not exactly at zero, right? Break even. If there is no 88 here, it would be break even at zero. 88 points, that means the break even will be at eight pips. So you will still will have a little profit if it will turn around of eight pips. So I add a little bit more just because of the uh, spread, a little bit of spread and expecting it could be slipperage. So that's why it's a little bit, it's like not just 80 points, it's 88 points. So just give it a little bit more uh, points. So, and uh, then you read trailing by 300 points in like, let's say 111 points step here after 500 points. That means it will be trailing stop. It will trail after 500 points. Like it will be trailing 300 with the step of every 111 points. The stop loss uh, will be moving. The trailing stop will be moving. Okay. Moving towards the price uh, with the price. So if the price, like let's say going up, so like with every 111, the stop loss moves behind it. 111 moves, 111 moves. That's the step. Okay. But it will be 300 from the price. Okay. So that's the main, if you are just uh, thinking to follow, like I'm saying, once again, use the lot size, depending on your account size, money management, it's all up to you all the risks you take yourself guys i'm only sharing with you my strategy i'm sharing with you my orders where i place them so take profit at this example is 500 but usually check it out because it can change quite often i use 180 or 200 the first small ones take in half of it uh, when the market moves 500 in this example then 0 0.2 will close it explains you here the same it will close not 0.10 as a profit and then another not 0.10 will be running with trailing stop. In here it all tells you, again it tells you, but original stop loss is let's say 900, okay? So originally with, I'm placing uh, orders with the distance again. So here you can see, look at this two and 244 points. So it will not be confusing because uh, time pending orders are really for the fully automated strategy. Uh, so it's really confirmation points you need to look at. But anyway, that's always I'm leaving to you always the same number. So you will not be confused. 244 points. It's the distance from the levels. OK, so that's what I was explaining to you earlier. So that's the screenshot you will be seeing. That's my levels. 
but the orders 244 above and with this because you can see that's not horizontal level like this one so this would be 244 244 244 244 so basically with this one you would have to watch a little bit of the market okay because you see it could break here a little bit low but no if it goes even further who knows it could have break higher that's why i use this one because it's looking like a little bit of the pattern right so that's how i use it and that's how you can understand so level above 244 level below 244 that's where the pending orders real orders are and that's what it all explains to you in here so that's what you're looking for again lot size you decide for yourself but looking if you want to take profit then you're looking at how many points i have from those levels and um, well that's pretty much it so here you can see actually the uh, the prices where it actually tells you exact prices okay so here enter 244 points from that price so that means my level at this price but the sell stop is from this one but as you can see here it has a timer it's exactly that at that exact time because a sell stop was not horizontal level but you can see buy stop 244 from this price again that means the order itself will be at this price so whatever you see in here that's the original that's where the order is okay and here you don't have the timer that means it's exact at that place and the price will not change so i'm going to show you different screenshot here would be better where it's horizontal but i wanted you to show both because i use level lines and i use trend lines so that's the normal horizontal okay again buy stop 244 above sell stop 244 below below that level and this is above that level so that's what you will see the screenshot when you see those prices green and here uh, red you need to plus 244 and here's minus 244 okay so and once again you don't need to do it manually as i have it here again in this setting right so exactly the same as you can see there is no time at at, um, at this order no time at this order that means that's the exact that's where sell stop and that's where buy stop and again 244 points so i haven't changed the distance which i might change but at this moment i'm not changing and that's my usual settings okay that's my usual setup a standard one which i think uh, a bit more um less riskier uh, for some of you if you would like to follow because we're only aiming here to get 180 points as the first half position half profit we want to take and the rest we will be running with trailing stop so you see like the last trade i had 500 points which is a little bit riskier because we're looking for the bigger profit but the market might only go 180 200 points or 300 and then turn around but when i'm expecting bigger moves then i'm increasing the distance increasing the take profit but you can choose your own take profit it doesn't matter you can put whatever setups you want i'm just showing you the ones i'm placing and because sometimes as you can see like this little move we still can uh, catch that little move for example or like that this one it's a little bit bigger but still uh, what i usually um, do is that when we have small um, moves right so like it could be for one day two days then so first i will be placing like to say smaller take profits but then expecting finally a good move so you can do the same you can watch it and see okay we had one uh, another day uh, some consolidation breakouts then probably on the third day you would be expecting bigger move and then when you can place a bigger take profit so or usually because i place it at night during asian session so that's why uh, sometimes it could be just a small move and during the day if you believe that will be good move you can again change take profit but that's pretty much it guys that's how you read um, that's how to read my signals it's not difficult it's very easy and so that part of uh, the uh, explanation 
This is the recovery system, which is built into the EA. And uh, with this one, you can also do it uh, manually if you want. Uh, all, all it does is that, uh, you see, we're going for uh, take profit the same in recovery system, 900 points, the stop loss, 800 points. I have a trailing here where it will be closing some profitable positions again and trail the rest, for example. But if it's still closing with profits, but not making uh, until we want it to finish, it will continue to recover and open new and new trades. So we, I have settings also where it's continue the same direction. It doesn't change the lot size because there is a setting there where you can change the lot size. You can change the direction, reverse direction, um, or with the same direction, like close if it closes with profit, for example, it continues the same way. So when it closes some positions, it will continue open the new ones in the same direction. But you can change to reverse, and then instead of uh, going one direction, it can change it. Okay, and the same with the loss, uh, when you believe it's going to continue, um, then it will uh, reverse, if it was a buy, it will sell, and vice versa, you can do also the same direction. A re recovery attempts is how many times you want it to be recovered, I put a uh, bigger number because uh, it can do as many recoveries as it wants, attempts because even when it closes few positions with profit, when it opens new one, it still counts as recovery attempt. So it could be quite a lot. That's why I keep it this way. Recovery factor, it will increase a little bit of your profit. If you want, you can keep it zero. If you want just to make the same profit, it will go for those 180 points. If you want to, you see the objective, like original profit target. If you want to make like this original only 180 points, uh, it will be trying to close, cover the 900 you're going to lose, for example, plus 180. And if you have this recovery factor, not point not zero or zero one, it will add that a little bit extra. If you increase this number, it will add even more, but then it will increase the load size. So I'm keeping it the lowest, just a little bit more, but still the lowest. And of course, recovery load size, again, I put the highest, but I never seen it going that high, but still it can go on my... Um, now it's over $100,000 account. I had the load size going up to eight. Um, lots, which is still alright, but if you're trading a small account, so you need to bear in mind and use the lowest, you see this with the starting 0.2 lot, okay, so that's what I'm saying, if you are thinking to use recovery, which uses Martingale strategy, you need to start with the lowest uh, lot size, because yes, the lot can grow, you can of course choose, you want to limit, let's say, to one lot, it will not go more than that, so that's the settings for the uh, year for the recovery. That's how you how you read it. So it's very easy to follow. I mean, especially of course if you have the EA, but even if you don't have the EA, like I'm saying, and you don't use the recovery system, the main, um, the most important what you look at is that what the levels are, uh, the distance where the buy stop and where the sell stop, which is um, once again repeating here. It shows you in this area. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you read it. Okay, so nothing uh, hard. Of course, during the process when I'm um, trading, I like to cancel the opposite order when we're usually in uh, profit. Uh, if it's triggers one, I usually cancel it and uh, I make a also note to saying cancel sell stop right or cancel buy stop like i think i did well cancel sell stop here too as you can see cancel sell stop i also uh warning about the news like we were news in few minutes and um, if i'm changing some settings but pretty much usually as you can see it's a screenshot and a description of my um, uh, settings okay cancel sell stop cancel buy stop you see guys so and uh, screenshots you can see where uh, my levels are expectation of the breakouts, the area. So that's what you can see on the screenshots. And pretty much that's what I'm saying. For easier, easier for you to make, I do not change the settings. I do not usually change settings. The last one I changed this Friday um, because I was expecting a big move. But 
I usually don't, so you don't get confused. And if you decide, because like I'm saying once again, this is safer, less risk because we're going for smaller take profit. But of course, you can miss a good move. And that's what I'm always saying. If you are actually trading um, like manually, you can see if the market continue to move, making a nice move, uh, then just let it run. Okay, so don't just place your stop loss into the uh, uh, break even or with that, that small little profit and uh, let it continue to run because most of the time you will see uh, my um, on my screens screenshots the level. So for example, here expectation, yes, that could be the next stopping level or if it goes down, this could be next stopping level. So um, it could, it's could be wider, right? Bigger than just 180 pips. Uh, and uh, then, of course, if you see it continue going, you have your stop loss on when, and you can wait and see if it might uh, reach uh, one or another level. So that's uh, the usually you will see those levels, and they could be a little bit of glue uh, for you where uh, it can go and can stop. Okay, at which level? So I, uh, from time to time, I make. Um, um the streams but during the day it's not uh practical for me to do though because i'm not all the time at the screen once again guys so you see i don't sit and wait for example for this move i didn't have to sit and wait i placed my orders and i walked away uh, i could have made uh, much more profit uh, but um, like also with this movement i placed the orders i walked away uh, but making the more movement when add more trades to it. And I also have a setting in the EA for that. Okay, so it's easier to do with the EA again, but you can do manually. Uh, I was explaining previously where that's why I was saying if you go for that normal setup I make with only 180 pips, so like 200 originally, and then when every time it uh, moves into break even you can open a new position because you already have nothing to lose. You already made profit. So you can risk another one, right? And then you can go for another one and another one and another one. That's how quite often I increase the profit by adding the positions. Okay. Uh, but making sure that the previous one is already in profit. So I couldn't do it this week because I was not all the time at the screen. And uh, the moments I could uh, just place the orders and send your screenshots, but you can do everything yourself with the EA, with the help of the EA or manually. So uh, that's it guys, a bit long video I was trying to explain to you. I mean, it's not difficult to follow. I hope uh, I didn't confuse you again. And uh, of course, if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe, like, uh, join the Telegram channel. And uh, I uh, talk to you in my next video. Happy trading everyone. Bye.